Hey guys, and welcome to this. It's uh, It's been a while between drinks um, since my last video. I had a bad bout of the flu. Uh, really took took out uh, our whole household for a good couple of weeks, so... Uh, yeah, that is why there hasn't been a, uh, a video from uh, yours truly in uh, quite some time. But we're back today with uh, an Eridan list. Um, I'm revisiting my uh, Mourntart. A few changes, uh, especially since we've added in some of a couple of uh, Syndicate cards, dual faction cards. But uh, let's run through the deck and see how we go. So Mourntart, of course, is uh, going to be ideally your great final play, uh, and to make Mourntart better, we need a big graveyard. So a lot of our cards deal with uh, boosting up our graveyard numbers. So uh, let's see, we got Roach for thinning and tempo, and it puts Roach in the graveyard after round one. Got Operator to create another body. Usually you're going to want to use this on perhaps a Slizzard or Kickamore Warrior, but we'll get to those later. Uh, we got uh, Yennefer Conjurer, which is just a great engine, especially if you use a uh, Eridan charge on it. Uh, we got Ruhin, which doesn't really build up the graveyard, however, with our Slizzards and our Kickamore Warriors. Uh, you can just generate a lot, a lot, a lot of points with Ruhin, especially if you use Whispering Hillock on your Ruhin. Create another one. Get another one out there. And we can of course play Whispering Hillock with Whisper's Tribute. Now Whispering Hillock is the only uh, organic card in the deck so your Whisper's Tribute will be used on that. But it's just um, it's adding to the thinning uh, which is good for this deck because it puts bodies in the graveyard and it helps us to find our Mourntart which is of course what we need. Uh, so what else have we got? We got your three crones which are just yeah really good monster cards. We got Karen Thier to create another body. You could use this on Ruhin, get another Ruhin out there, or you could use it on Yencon, you could use it on um, a Deathwish unit, a Sliz. Karen Thier are fine ill. We got Nithril for uh, artifact control. We got one Rot Fiend here, because we got a bit of consume stuff happening. So it's not too bad. Uh, we got two Slizzards to um, consume those Death Wish guys, like Rot Fiend and Ruhin and Harpy Egg. And Foglet, of course. And it puts bodies in the graveyard. We've got two Wild Hunt Riders for thinning, get those guys into the graveyard. Uh, two Harpy Eggs, again, good Death Wish. We got some consume stuff, so. Uh, two Foglets, again, to play into the Consume stuff and Thinning, getting those bodies into the graveyard. Two Kickamore Warriors, which are really good with Mourntart, if these can stick around, because um, it creates more Kickamore Warriors. They're not doomed, so they all go into the graveyard. It's really, really good. And we got two Neckers, because it creates uh, two bodies on the board, and if left alone, and get you some of that uh, great Thrive value. So, uh, let's jump into it, guys. Let's do it. Let's Gwent it up. Dana. Black on Don't see Dana too much of late. Right, let's get rid of Roach. And... Uh, get rid of Spring Hillet. about that. Let's play our Neckers. And the only consume stuff we have is a kick and more warrior. Just for you, love. Fortunately, so I'm gonna put that down. If it survives, we're gonna play on. If not, 
I think we're gonna get out of this round. Because he's getting a lot of carryover with the smugglers. Peace with humans? A bite us! Okay. Let's get these foglets down. Sword and axe. Um, let's let's keep going with these harpy eggs because uh, we're just creating more kick of war warriors. Go away. But yeah, I mean, as soon as he takes out the active Kickamore Warrior, I think we are out of the round for sure. Okay. Yeah, he does have quite a bit of carryover thanks to those smugglers, but our graveyard's looking pretty good. Uh, Alright, let's get rid of Whispering Hillock and Roach. I think uh, let's play on a little, because we should do alright in a short round. As long as Mortar can survive. So uh, yeah, let's let's open with Operator onto the Kickamore Warrior. Let's broach out as well. So uh, let's get this Ruhin going. And we are, of course, uh, just creating more and more kick and more warriors for our graveyard. for dominance. We might get these Wild Hunt Riders out. Let's go for that. Goes for the graveyard. Coexistence fire! Um, so we could take a pass here and go a card up, which isn't bad. Um, 
or we try and get another Kickaball Warrior down. Let's try it. Could be an error. But we are still on even cards, so we can't afford to push them. Humans are not Okay, that's just alright. Yeah, it's pretty good to get the lock out of him, that's for sure. Don't have a lot of great pushing stuff left. And we obviously don't want to play Mortart, we don't want to play Ruin. I don't mind playing these two crones. Let's go for it. Get some more stuff out of it. Strong tree and boar out of him, that's great. Alright, let's play Whispers. The inner agonies. The holy whistles will lose work. Okay, we've got some really good stuff out of it, so I think we'll take the pass here. And hopefully our Mozart can get by. Still got both our leader charges, which is good as well. So we get rid of Whispering Hillic. Yencon would be great. Ruas would be good too. Um, yeah, I'll get rid of Nithril. Okay, wrong name. The waters of Rockland. See, a slizzard continuously on onto a ruin would be great. We just need it to survive. We could use a leader charge on slizzard. It's not bad. We'll go ahead and do that. Vulnerable, of course, to a lock. Well, I guess it's gonna take some more patching. Now. Play the root in here. And then I think we'll play uh, the Whispers Tribute on the root in. Lizard, of course, is quite vulnerable to tall removal. Of course, they both go into the melee. So we're going to have to play uh, Mortart here. And hopefully. Remains untouched. Hmm. Oh, what? Oh, uh, yes, yes, I'm on it. I know. So, 
play the Rot Fiend. Eat him up, put him in the graveyard. Oh, we did it! We did it! 27 point Mourn's Heart, folks. That's nothing to sneeze at. So, uh, yeah, look, I think we'll leave it there. Just the one today. Uh, still getting into the swing of things, but, um, yeah, that showcased pretty well, the deck. So, uh, hope you enjoy it. Try it out. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Leave a subscribe. And, uh, I'll get back to you. Until next time. See ya.